Let's assume that the given number 5 plus 2 root 6 whole raised to the power n is the sum of two numbers i and f where i is the integral part of the number and f is the fractional part. Now if f is a fraction then it will lie between 0 and 1. Therefore i plus f is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 whole raised to the power n which using binomial theorem can be expanded as 5 raised to the power n plus n choose 1 times 5 raised to the power n minus 1 times 2 root 6 plus n choose 2 times 5 raised to the power n minus 2 multiplied by 2 root 6 whole square plus and so on. Let's call this result 1. Next consider the number 5 minus 2 root 6. Now root 6 is approximately equal to 2.4 therefore 2 root 6 is approximately equal to 4.8 and therefore it follows that 5 minus 2 root 6 is a proper fraction that is it lies between 0 and 1. Now we know that a proper fraction raised to the power n where n is a positive integer is also a proper fraction. Therefore 5 minus 2 root 6 whole raised power n lies between 0 and 1. Let's denote 5 minus 2 root 6 whole raised to the power n by f dash. Using binomial theorem this can be expanded as 5 raised to the power n minus n choose 1 times 5 raised to the power n minus 1 times 2 root 6 plus n choose 2 times 5 raised to the power n minus 2 times 2 root 6 whole square minus and so on. Let's call this result 2. Now adding results 1 and 2 we get i plus f plus f dash on the left hand side is equal to 5 raised to the power n plus n choose 1 times 5 raised to the power n minus 1 times 2 root 6 plus n choose 2 times 5 raised to the power n minus 2 times 2 root 6 whole square plus n choose 3 times 5 raised to the power n minus 3 times 2 root 6 whole cube plus and so on plus in brackets 5 raised to the power n minus n choose 1 times 5 raised to the power n minus 1 times 2 root 6 plus n choose 2 times 5 raised to the power n minus 2 times 2 root 6 whole square minus n choose 3 5 raised to the power n minus 3 times 2 root 6 whole cube plus and so on. Now notice that on the right hand side the even number terms in both the expressions cancel out. And we are left with 2 times in brackets 5 raised to the power n plus n choose 2 times 5 raised to the power n minus 2 times 2 root 6 whole square plus and so on. Now note that the expression in the brackets is an integer and therefore i plus f plus f dash is equal to 2 times an integer which means that it is an even number. Let's denote it by 2k. Therefore, i plus f plus f dash is equal to 2k. Subtracting i from both sides, we get f plus f dash is equal to 2k minus i. On the right hand side, both 2k and i are integers. Therefore, the right hand side is an integer. And so the left hand side should also be an integer. But we know that f and f dash are proper fractions, therefore both of them lie between 0 and 1. Adding these two inequalities, we get f plus f dash is strictly greater than 0 and strictly less than 2. But we have just established that f plus f dash is an integer and the only integer 
which lies between 0 and 2 is 1. Therefore, f plus f dash must be equal to 1. Therefore, the result i plus f plus f dash is equal to 2k derived above becomes i is equal to 2k minus in brackets f plus f dash which is equal to 2k minus 1. Therefore, i, which is the integral part of 5 plus 2 root 6 whole raised to the power n, is equal to 2k minus 1, which is clearly an odd integer. And this is the required result.